Hi there, I'm Rose Jacobs here with you for Calcine TV. Today we're going to look at what is a joint stock company? How is it different from a public firm? But first, make sure you press the bell icon for all the latest updates here on Calcine TV. A joint stock company is a company which is collectively owned by its investors. Each investor owns a share in the company based on the percentage of ownership. The shareholders of the firm can easily transfer shares between one another without negatively impacting the existence of the company. However, the transfer is often limited by an agreement. Generally speaking, joint stock companies are formed to finance projects that are too expensive for an individual or even a government to fund. The owners of the company have a share in its profits. In terms of liability, joint stock companies have been seen to carry unlimited liability historically. It implies that personal property of a shareholder in the firm could be seized by authorities to repay debts in case of a collapse. In the US, the legal process of incorporation has lowered the liability to the shareholder and the stock's face value. As already mentioned, a joint stock company is formed to fund an expensive endeavour which is otherwise difficult to get funded by individuals or even by a government. Each shareholder benefits from the business up to the amount that he or she has invested. Shareholders have a say in everything that happens within a joint stock company. It includes selection of board of directors to manage the company on their behalf. Shareholders also vote to approve or deny annual reports and budgets. They're generally not liable for any of the company debts that extend beyond the company's ability to pay up to the amount of them. Joint stock companies are separate legal existences. It implies they have other existence rather than the owner. Perpetual succession is another advantage of such a company. But what are the disadvantages of a joint stock company? The formation of a joint stock company involves a lengthy procedure and the company has to follow numerous regulations which may take up the company's time and reduce its freedom. So how is a joint stock company different from a public firm? The term joint stock company is generally closely associated with a corporation, public company or a plain company, except for a historical association with unlimited liability. A modern corporation is a joint stock company incorporated to limit shareholder liability. Different countries have different laws related to a joint stock company, including a process to limit liability. And so what is the bottom line? A joint stock company is a venture jointly owned by all its shareholders, even as such a company has several advantages. Presence of several stakeholders, and that's including the shareholders, also the promoters and board of directors may at times lead to a conflict of interest. But that's it for today's video. If you like what you've learned today, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe or comment and go to calkinemedia.com for all our latest videos. I'm Rose Jacobs and I'll see you next time.